You are listening to the No Invite Podcast. Season three. The progression. The progression. Follow us on Instagram at no underscore invite underscore podcast or look us up on YouTube at No Invite Podcast. The best kept secret. Bang, you know what it is. No Invite Podcast, episode 78, season three, The Level Up. We back at it. We don't stop. We can't stop moving. We're like a shark in the water. You know what I mean? And we got a special guest, uh, No Invite Podcast alumni. Been rocking with us for a minute now. Been on a few episodes. Go and introduce yourself for the people, for those that the new people that don't know you. Oh, man, you know, I go by <laughs> PZ. I go by PZ, man. Capital P, capital Z, Ski Team PZ. You know what I mean? But, you know, a lot of people like to call me. That's, you know, that's my, that's my, uh, my moniker on the Instagram. You know what I mean? I'm part of Ski Team Music Group, man. That's so, right. yeah, I'm here with Blaze, man. We finna do this podcast, man, and, and, and talk about some things and, you know, see where it go. Well, first of all, man, it's great to have you back, man. It's been a while. I haven't seen you in a while. I know you've been busy moving around, doing what you got to do. We always wind up linking up somehow on something. So it's good that you came to the podcast, bro. And and, um, we have have an opportunity to holla at you, man. How you been, bro? How's your new year been treating you so far? Man, I've been, I've been cool. (laughs) I've been cool. I I stay, I don't stay out here no more. I, I stay out of state right now. You feel me? Temporarily. So, but it's cool. I'm doing a lot better out there. You know what I mean? Mentally, physically, emotionally. You know what I mean? All that stuff, man. That's and then very important. The price, of, the price of living is better out there. <laughs> yeah. Man, they killing us right now, bro. It's like man. the, the uh, are you are uh, you know if you if you living in Cali right now, them them gas price memes hit different because like there's cats that are from like uh, they're in the south right now in Atlanta and stuff, and they posted up the memes and their memes. Say like four dollars, four fifty for some gas. Man, we out here. It's like six twenty, six fifty for some gas right now. I got it. It's, Don't let it's it horrible. Be premium. Don't let it be premium. It's gonna be oh, six ninety. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, I gotta. I gotta see. I got a Hemi, so I gotta fucking. I gotta put premium oh, in it. That's all it takes. Yeah. So trust me, I'm feeling it. You know what I mean? He be looking at that. Yeah. Be looking at the gas station like your ex. Like, fuck it. man, I got it. You got. You got. You got to find that one gas station. You feel me? It just That's going to be the only one you go to. You know there's you one know that's trapping out there somewhere. They got the good prices and shit. You just got to yeah, find them yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, crazy, I, cause like the gas farm, man, it's a three-something. See, that's crazy, bro. Three-something? It might. It, it could be four. I don't know. I've been, I'm, I'm back out here in the P right now. But like I said, I'm heading to the airport. You feel me? Like a little bit after we done with this, right. so. You know I mean, racking up them motherfucking frequent flyer miles and shit, uh. Man, I'm, <laughs> that shit come in handy. <laughs> that shit show do, handy. man. And and, yeah. now, and now everything's opening back up, man. It's it's cool to see people traveling more because now you you got people that are um that you probably wouldn't get to see like because of the little restrictions and whatnot. You get to see them more now, so it's pretty dope, man. Let's get mm-hmm. you to come out here yeah. and check in and check in with your family and your peoples and stuff like that. Um, yeah. what has been like? Like, Cause I know you've been working on a lot of stuff. You said you dropped three videos right now that are out, right? Well, mm-hmm. two are out right now, and one's on its way, correct? And I got three out, and then one on the way. One on the way, so it's four. Okay, yeah. boom. Yeah. Uh, who you been working on and with videos? Let's start off with the first one you dropped. What's it called? Uh, the first one I dropped is um, it's all love. Uh, the second produced by one Slapmaster. Is... is that the one produced by Slapmaster? Nah, 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 nah. Slapmaster, he still he still does a lot of my engineering. I haven't got no beats from him. In a while, I had dropped the uh, I dropped the project that was entirely produced by him though. Yeah, Sometimes, shout out to the Slapmaster man. Yeah, shout out to the Slapmaster man. I dropped that. You know, I was I was in the pen and county and shit out of state, man. So I I dropped that from there, and that was some um, that was like a whole bunch of songs that we already had that I was supposed to do. You know, before that situation happened. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, I dropped that. That project is called um, Weighing Out My Options. Yeah. So yeah, that's out. <clears throat> but um, the it's all love. It's produced by um, Lil Psycho. I get a lot of beats from him. Lil Psycho. You know I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I think he based out of Richmond. He did a lot of work with a uh, like Slim Four Hundred. You know I mean, he got like a he got like a song I think on one of Young Dolph's albums. You know what I mean? So he be he be doing this thing too. So he's out so, like, around. Yeah, yeah. So majority of my beats right now come from him you know what i mean because i mean you know he stay i stay consistent with him he stays consistent with me you know what i mean so but um it's all love yeah that's produced by him 
you know, cash and fast. That's who pretty much do all my videos. Yes, sir. You've been working with him consistently yeah. for a while. Shout out Cash yeah. and Fast. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah, man. Shout out my nigga Juju, man. Mm. That's right. The best in the nine two five. Man, I, I'm a, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Him and Sanko grind, grinding hard as fuck, bro. They've been yeah, moving bro. uh for a minute now, and it's been consistent. See, there's like, you know, there's people that do shit in spurts, people do shit for fun, and you can tell mm -hmm. who's really doing shit for the work. You know, doing the work, putting yeah. ten thousand hours in. I mean, you know, if they dope now, imagine what kind of shit they're gonna be on like five years from now. You know? Yeah. Like, that's, and then you. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh yeah, no, I was gonna say, and you know they, you know they hit the ground running with they stuff. You feel me? So it was, you know what I mean? Because it, it came out of nowhere. All of a sudden they they start shooting videos. Now they got thirty videos out of nowhere. You like, bro? No, yeah. like they, they just hit the ground running. I mean, but that's you know what I mean? that's. I tell people all the time when you're like barely getting into a situation, whether it's music or business, whatever, you have to hit the ground running. You got to do yeah. stuff. A lot of time there be cats. They'd be like, "Oh, I know my worth, and I, I, I need a, I need thousand for this beat." I was like, "But you haven't built a resume yet, so yeah. how are you gonna ask for that if you haven't built a resume? Your shit could be the best stuff in the world." Part of like getting situated and getting out there and getting your brand established, because now look, we know already. So if if Cash and Fast of them are like, "Yo, this is what we asking for. This is what it is," which they're still fucking doing really cool, cool prices, bro. Like for for their work. But I'm saying yeah, if there yeah, was yeah. to be like, yo, this, we about to switch it up. We're leveling up. We're doing this. It would be rightfully so because they did that already. They got out. Yeah. They hit the ground running. They tapped in with all kinds of artists. They were like, yo, this is what we doing. We, this is what we going to do it for. Let's just get the work done because they wanted to build a resume. And I yeah. feel like that's important for people. Like if you're just getting into it, you know, you want that consistency and you want to be able to, to tap in with as many artists as possible, you know? Yeah, man. You know, a lot of people. Um, you know, people live in fantasies, bro, to where it's like, you know, instead of understanding the reality. So just like that, as opposed to like, you know, you got to understand what you want, but you got to also understand the, what what is most likely that you're going to get. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and then yeah. kind of go off that. It's like, you feel me? If, if I got a thousand followers on Instagram, I'm, I'm not going to get a thousand comments. Exactly. You know what I mean? If I be like, if I be like, oh, yeah, give me the thousand comments, I'm going to drop this video or this song or something. But. I only got a thousand. I only got a thousand followers, and probably only ten percent of them really engaged. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just about just being tuned in with reality and just knowing like what's real. It's not. It's yeah. it's, it's nothing wrong with you know setting that bar, but you got to yeah. work towards that bar though. <laughs> and and that's I mean? all I mean. And that's all I mean by that is like you know like you, you you it's good to know your worth and know what your 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 you your potential is, but you also got to know what your market is. Like you said, you got to know. Yeah. That if I'm starting off, I'm trying to get my name out there. I got to get my name out to as many people. It's all about exposure. You know, I had to get my name out there to as many people as possible, work with as many people as possible. So if I got to cut a little deal here and there, you know what I mean? Uh, or or I have beat pack jugs or whatever the case might be. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's like promo. You know, people yeah. that are starting their restaurant, you know what I mean? They have to pay for promo of some sort, whether it's flyers, yeah. a, a commercial, yeah. a radio spot. If yeah. they really want to be successful, they got to get the word out there. People got to know who you are. The internet is so vast and so many people trying to do the same thing. You got to stand out and you got to be get as much exposure as possible. You know, that's why these yeah. blogs and vlogs are very important. And that's why this platform is important, because I created this platform to um, put on four people that are grinding and that are working mm -hmm. and, and that are, yeah. are, are on their way to onto something they're on and onto bigger things and i wanted to uh i didn't want to be the angry the angry artist that was like oh this platinum <laughs> this platform don't fuck with us or fuck this platform they don't well, they don't post my shit i was like i didn't want to yeah. be that so i decided that the only way i'm gonna do that is just like nowadays we live in an era where you could build your own platform you know what yeah. i mean you could build your yeah. own platform there's no reason it'll take time and it, just like anything else back to what we're saying it'll take time you're gonna have to do some work and you're gonna have to be out there but eventually you could get to where you want to go if you put in that work it don't yeah. matter if it don't matter if you're already established or if you're up and coming that the work <clears throat> is important that's the most important part yeah and having it's, you know having having it behind you and everything you know what i'm saying most definitely being that you just you know recently came back from vacation we're gonna call it um what do you think that you need as um, an artist right now 
to probably to help take you to the next level. Because, I mean, there's always a level up for everyone, including us, myself and, <clears throat> excuse me, the podcast. Man, you, you know, you know what? Uh, some things like. Um, I need help making different music, bro. You know what I mean? Just you need like a producer then. Like, uh. Because I, I don't mean, see, I, don't I, never, mean I, never, I never, I never fully understand. I never fully understood like what an actual producer, you know, I'll what break I mean? it down like, for you. The, like, yeah, like back in the day, you know what I mean? Like what they did. So, so yeah, like, but I, but I think I know what you're talking about. Like some of you sit in the studio with, you do your song, they tell you what you can add to it, what might sound good. You know, I don't need no yeah. help writing. I don't need no, yeah. writing for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, <clears> but, you, but you know, I had, um, uh, EP with my boy KR, you know, another member of the Ski Team Music Group. He, he's good with the harmonizing and not so much like actually like do an EP with him, but I wanted like all his help, like with the songs, you know what I mean? And yeah. like we had already, we already talked about it and I was just like, bro, just, just help me like with the flow. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and then, so that's one thing, that's, that's one thing Um, I think uh, because like, like I, I listen to rap. I mean, of course I listen to rap. You know what I mean. But like sometimes that harmonizing music, like I really feel it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, because they yeah. speaking from a different area. You feel me? They're speaking yeah, from a different but, uh, level. Yeah, and it's like a whole different just vibration and frequency. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So and so I want I want to make that type of music for those type of people who who like that type of music too, though. Most you definitely. know, because I, mean? I like it. You know what I mean? I, I like I like any type of music though. I don't. I'm not really. Like um, it could be a country song, you know. If it's a good song, I'm gonna like it. <laughs> I might listen to it. I might continue to it's listen to though. it too. Yeah, and then like out there okay. where I was at, it's in the boonies and shit. So it's like it's all country no music. Yeah, they didn't have no <laughs> rap stations, bro. Like yeah, they yeah. Didn't, yeah, they they the, the the closest thing we heard to rap was on the pop station with the the song with Selena Gomez, I think, and, and the baby or something. Yeah, and that was that, that was, was like the. That That's was like pop rap. You got to rap. Yeah, yeah. then they, you turn into the you turn into the pop station. All the other people tripping. They they want to hear the country shit. <laughs> They're like, come on now. They're like, <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean. But but it was like some country songs that I like too, just because they was good songs. You know what I mean. So, but yeah, but um, I mean, you know, not to digress, but back to the uh, back to the topic though. Like, I I think that that's something that that can help me do something like take it to a different level because it because that in and of itself is just a whole different level you know what i mean Hell yeah and, you know than than the music that i usually make no doubt and and i tell people all the time and if you look just at countless examples i mean a, a lot of what gives people longevity is consistency of course uh yeah. great uh what's what do you call it great content or what you got to have some um substance in your in your in your music and it's also uh, being being reborn, having a, uh, you know, what I mean, evolving in your sound, you know, you know, you know, uh, the rap shit is the rap shit and, the, and everything. But even then, you don't want to get stuck to one sound in a sense. You know, what I mean, you always want to evolve mm -hmm. your sound, whatever that that evolution is for you. Some people stick to the bars. Some people evolve more into the into the harmonies and the melodies, melodies and stuff like that. So it's it, it's it's all about evolution. People like nowadays, I notice, bro, with the social media and what we're doing now and everything is they want to see they want the music first, obviously. Yeah. They want to see the look, the videos, and how and how you pre present your music, and then they also want to know something about you personally as the artist. You know, maybe they don't want to be all in your business, even though they do because motherfuckers is nosy. But I'm yeah. saying like, <laughs> but I'm saying like they that's want. That's good though. Yeah, that's good. They want to they want to be a part of your your journey. So when they see you going from this to this to that, and you're evolving, it's interesting to people, and it and it and it yeah. pulls people in. Yeah. And uh, on a side note to what we were talking about earlier, there's two kinds of producers for people out there listening that don't know. There's the producers that make beats and then there's the producers that sit in there with you and, and help facilitate what you need done and help give you a different perspective on whatever it is, the art that you're making. So mm -hmm. like KR, he would be, if he, if you guys work together and he, and he uh, does that for you, sits in there and helps you with the concepts and how, cause that's all a producer does. He takes the artist and he goes, look, how, he gives them a different perspective. Like, what do you think about this? 
Mm-hmm. You're capable of doing this, but what if? What do you think about this? Do you think? It, how about you approach this song this way, or this song sounds great, but I feel like you know he he could influence the mix and be like you know yeah, we'll drop the yeah. drums here and let your yeah. voice ride <laughs> out and you know so stuff like that, bro, is very important. And I tell people all the time, it's like if, if for all these cats that you see out here that are that are on like shit, they have a team. They have mm-hmm. a producer. They have they have the people that make their beats, and then they got mm-hmm. another producer. Whether it's the engineer, sometimes the engineer plays producer roles. Sometimes another artist does whatever. But they have their people that they sit around and they vibe yeah. with, and and they they formulate like a battle plan for what they're doing. So yeah, the evolution is though that was just for that. That's dope. I, I like that you that you're thinking like that. That you're not thinking because a lot of times people get stuck also in their ways, and they have to understand yeah. that. Um, which, I'm which just kind dope, of, so everybody should like me. You yeah, know what I mean? like, and, and and I'm gonna keep sounding the same, and and everybody's. I'm gonna keep getting new people to like me. It's like no, the name of the game is obviously um, cultivating your fan base, but also by doing that is maintaining the ones you have and bringing in new ones constantly. They say if your business yeah. isn't growing, it's dying. So you gotta be growing. You dig? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, that this all leads me to another question that I ask everybody that pulls up on here because it's a good way for people to get to know who you are. There is no right or wrong answer for this question. So answer it however you feel. But um, <clears throat> as an artist, what do you feel is more important? Do you feel style is more important? or substance is more important or do you feel it's like combination of both yeah i I think it's a combination of both um yeah i think it's i mean because style is you know what i mean wordplay is good too though but when you can when you can mix them and make it sound right you know what i'm saying yeah it's it's um I, i mean but it all depends on what you it all depends on like you know what that person wants too though because some people just they just want to be heard (laughs) <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean some people just want to be felt some people just want to be heard and felt you know what I'm saying mm. so it all depends really what what that artist is going for like I got like some songs it's like I mean the style is always cool but it's just like I got like I feel like this song focuses more on what I'm saying mm-hmm. as opposed to like this song focuses more on like you know how I can make you feel and if you can vibe to it yeah you know what I'm saying so but yeah I think they both go hand in hand I think so too I think that would I think when you don't when you lack one of the other, it it, it could uh mess with your longevity. You yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. a lot of the, <clears throat> the most classic great songs, they had substance. And that doesn't mean that it was like bars and they were super lyrical and shit like that. What I mean mm-hmm. by substance, they had a message of some sort that translates. That like you said, yeah. you were that you could feel them. It's yeah. different to hearing some shit and feeling some shit, but also you look at those same albums or same records and shit by, by a lot of these cats that we, we hold dear, there is some that's just based purely on style and it's to lure you yeah. in. That's why I like mm-hmm. albums. You know, we live in the era of singles, but I like albums because albums, you could tell a story. You could mm-hmm. drop the singles to make people like it. And then you yeah. could have those, you know, those, su- those, those substance tracks, those ones you feel, you know, like Nipsey is a great example of that. Like he, all his shit was really well put together and really had a lot of substance, but he had just natural style. You feel me? To where yeah. you automatically you were you were attracted to how he said things and how he how he presented them and the in the overall look and 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 in the way that he did his music and shit. And then you know he had them deeper tracks than the blue laces too and stuff like that, where you're just like mm-hmm. he's talking about some real live shit and. You feel it because mm-hmm. not only maybe you didn't actually go through something like that, but you could tell in his voice and in his sound and what he's saying, how the authenticity is just something you can't like, mm-hmm. you can't fake. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's dope. I, I believe in the same thing. I believe both. I think you got to have both. I think substance will take you farther than just style because if you're just married to only style, like you don't have no substance in your music and you're just going for what's up, you have to mm-hmm. kind of keep up with the current style. Or if you get stuck with a style, then you get dated, you know, and then people yeah, are like, yeah, whatever happened sure, to him sure. and shit. You feel me? Like whatever <laughs> happened to fucking, you know what I'm saying? We can, name, sure, we, can, name, sure. we, can we can name a lot of motherfuckers, but we're not going to do that. Yeah, but um, that's dope, man. That's dope, man. Um, given that you are moving and shaking right now, what is the um, what is the one obstacle you feel that is in your way of taking that next level step? Because we know you. I mean, you know you. We know already that what you're where you're trying to go. But what do you, what do you think is your biggest obstacle right now? 
Man, right now is my location, bro. To be honest with you, like I'm I'm way out the way. Um, I come around, you you know, I, I you know, I still, you know, slide in and out the city and shit here and there, but I gotta catch two flights to get here, two flights to get back. And then yeah. it's like when I'm out here, when I'm out here, it's like I got I got this going on, that going on, and then um so like sometimes I'm not able to link up with everybody because like when I'm free they not. Mm. You know what I mean? When they yeah, free, I got something going on. And I, but I think the I, I think the location really is the hardest for me just because like where I'm at is just me. And I never really and I never really understood like the impact that having like people with you in the studio, like I never understood like how much of that that can be an impact on somebody when they're making music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cause like now when I go, I got my, you know, I got my home studio set up and stuff. Same thing I've been doing, but it's just like, it's like, so when I'm in there and I want to do a song, it's like, boom, I do a verse and I just lose the, you know what I'm saying? I just the lose the I, I, Yeah, I cut it off and I'll finish it eventually, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when you, when you have your people that surround you and the energy that's in there, it's a lot, it's a lot different. It's a lot easier. It's just, it, and it keeps you going. You know it, what I mean? it, it does, bro. It's something to say about that. There's no, there's no, there's no way around it, man. And there's a reason why you see people and, and you'll see artists and you see uh, documentaries or footage from them in the studio. They always keep a few people on there. And it's kind of yeah. the same thing. Like I was saying, sometimes it's just the energy just to have somebody that you could say something funny to, to keep, you know, keep it, keep the spirits up or, <clears throat> or even like just the, the feeling of, having to perform you know what i'm saying yeah. like oh like yo my people see i gotta i gotta fucking knock this shit out or i'm yeah oh, oh what you think about that you like this shit like people being in the studio that energy bro and that reciprocation of of uh of, of that energy bro is is very important it's a very slept on yeah. thing yeah because um, you can you know you can you can you can you know when you're in the studio you can look and be like, like you can just look like you could be saying some shit and then you could be looking at everybody around you like Okay, I don't, okay that's not, not it. Feeling, this might not be the thing. <laughs> you drop a bar you know and you're saying? like, you're not getting the reaction you expect. Like, like, okay, that's maybe I'm. Yeah, like, y'all don't. They like, nah, nah, nah. Yeah. It's cool, maybe. but you know. Nah. <laughs> well, see, and that's the thing. It's like that that supreme belief in yourself, bro. That that you you know that you got something going on is gonna make you step out there and you know try that and you know and it's good to get like an instant feedback like right away now i'm gonna try this this does this bar work you know what i mean you spit it and you, yeah. you just throw it in your verse then you spit it to one of your homies like yo check this out does this what this sound like if you know you could mm -hmm. gauge a lot of, of that it's like kind of like being able to test your music out before actually fucking recording mm -hmm. it you know what i'm saying yeah. so yeah yeah for it, sure for sure I, I super i super get it man I'm, I'm the same way plus also when you get your home studio and you have it for a while sometimes you just the fact that you're at home is uninspiring. You know, a lot of yeah, times, yeah. A, a, a lot of times, you know, we would go to other people's house or go to other studios that we book. And that's the, that's the energy that we'd be on. You know, you're getting out yeah. you're like, yo, I'm going to get out here and I'm going to go knock this shit out. I'm on a time frame. I know I know what I want. But now it's like I got, I've been at home studio for a while, but trust me, it's a battle. You know what I mean? Sometimes. <laughs> to get in there. So, yeah, I, I totally feel it, man. Um, Just to turn it on sometimes. you like, man. Yeah. Cause I mean, you know, you could do it, and and that's the thing. Yeah. I think that's what what really stops you is because you know you could do it. You know this shit ain't you know it ain't about nothing. You go in there and knock it out, but it's like because you know that the hunger ain't exactly the same as if you know I paid for this studio time or I'm going to this cat's house. I'm not gonna waste their time. You know this yeah. your time. You know you home. I'm like I'll do it. I get it done. I, I I'll come yeah. back to it. I'll do the other verse another day. You know what I mean? Or I'll write some other shit. It's like. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it's it's difficult when it's all right at at, at your hand and access. Um, yeah. Talk to me about what you got going on next, bro. I know you just said you just filmed another video. Can you say the name and the song and stuff? Yeah, like that? yeah. So the the um the name of the song is called Frankie, mm -hmm. and people ask me like, why is it called Frankie? To be honest with you, there's no hook in it. Um, that one was just like that one was like bars and style. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But but there wasn't no hook just because I felt like, you know, the little four bar drop in between the verses is what make you feel it because the beat go crazy. And really, the, Frankie, the name of the beat was Frank. Mm, <laughs> you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so I'm like, damn, man, I'm racking my brain trying to figure like, like, what's the name? You feel me? I was just like, no, I'm just going to call it Frankie, bro. Just because. <laughs> hey, just you know cause. what? I totally relate, bro. 
Yeah, I totally and to me, it. I don't know for some reason it just felt catchy to me for some reason. It, it sounds catchy, saying? yeah. It sounds yeah, catchy yeah, exactly. and, it, and it's organic. It happened naturally. Yeah. It wasn't like you were like, I gotta come up with the most catchiest fucking name. Yeah, you were just yeah. like that. You know what? And 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 truth be told, player to player, you know, artist to artist, like a lot of times we don't made so many fucking songs that we don't even know what the fuck to call them. Sometimes, sometimes the, the record yeah. you can't even find a bar in the record that would make it sound like a. Yeah. Uh, it would sound like the song. So, I. I, I if the producer names the beat and I like what he names the beat, sometimes I'll just name the song with yeah. the producer name the beat because they'll yeah. give it to you be like, this is, um, you know what I mean? This is mob shit or whatever the case, you know what I mean? I'll be like, yeah. oh, yeah, that sounds like that's not like the song. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it it's just is what it is sometimes. Like when you make yeah. so much music, sometimes you just like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got, so, what can I call it? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I did. Um, I just shot that um the other day. That's the fourth one. You know what I mean? Really, I've just been probably like dropping a video shit and every month for real since this year. That's dope. No, That's everything that consistency. Then, yeah, and then so, um, but I already, already got the, already got the edited version back. It came out nice. Um, my main thing with that one is I'm probably gonna drop it on the Thizzler, like their, their YouTube channel. And then um, I'm gonna do some, some more promotion behind it too, because I had a lot of ideas before. Like, like, if you, like, my old apartment, like, you see, like, where my studio, where I had my mic and shit set up, I got all these sticky notes. You know yeah. what I mean? Cause it's the manifesto like, wall and shit. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> and, and then, and then, so now, like, so that's going, which I did some promo behind, a little bit behind the, um, the last few videos, but now I'm trying to just take it to another level. You know what I mean? And see where it go, because, you know, like, ain't nobody going to listen to it unless you give a ch people a chance to listen to it. You know you gotta what I mean? Be accessible. Yeah, and then it's just you know because you know a lot of people just get stuck like they so dope so you know what I mean like they gonna they, come they to just, me. Yeah, and it's like nah, that, that's like a lazy mindset. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's, this shit's an ocean out there, bro. Like there's so yeah. many. It's like it's not that even that that you're not dope or somebody's not dope or they're not gonna stand out. There's so many people in the fucking water that. It's like some Where's Waldo shit. It's like, how the fuck are they going to find you? You have to do things to stand out. You got to remain consistent. And you got to go on to other places where they have the most exposure and put you in front of the most people's uh, yeah. faces, you know? And that, exactly. that's the difficult part. And that is a lazy mindset when an artist thinks that they're just going to come to you and find you. I've, I've known plenty of people that were like, yo, I'm the dopest shit ever. They're going to come sign me. And it's like, well... They don't know you exist they can't sign you so <laughs> the first thing you got to do is you got to let them know that you exist you dig what i'm saying and you got to put in that footwork there's nobody anymore out here that just got signed based on the fact that they just were dope know. rapping rhyming on the on the corner or at the mall or something you know I, so um what's what's uh you got the video coming out called frankie um who are your top five producers in the bay that you've worked with not just like people that you know but like people that you work with yourself personally you've made tracks with them and all that to be honest i can't even shit I'm trying to think um i know the top three for sure <laughs> give us your I top can't... three sometimes it's uh, tough and it don't gotta be no particular order you know what i mean yeah no nah, it's, it's just because like like when like i'm a like like i'm the type of person like if i like somebody beats then I fuck with them consistently, you know what I mean? So this mm -hmm. might be, I might only get my beats from this person for a whole year. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, unless somebody, you know, comes with like, you know, comes across, you know, whatever my plans or my mind or something. But the main top three that, that I fuck with is a uh, little psycho, um, slab master. And then, uh, MG did it, mm -hmm. which a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people are like up on him, but he got some, he got some tight beats too. That's some yeah, his name, shit. yeah, his name, uh, Deuce, Ski Team Deuce. He, um, I think he knows him. That's who put me on him. Um, damn, when he a couple years ago, and uh, uh, and I got another video that's out too called um, The Din Din. So that was produced by that was produced by MG Diddy. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? So yeah, then my then my top three right there. Other people that I've that I've worked with though, uh, for another person that I've worked with that had some uh. That has that got some nice pieces. Um, LAX on the track. LAX is dope. Yeah. Yeah, he sure. does. Yeah, he, yeah, he does. You know, he does a lot of work with like a uh, 
Don Stadium and mm-hmm. you know shout what I mean. Shout out LAX, bro. Yeah. We, we did, yeah, I did so a couple songs them dudes. Least, Yeah, know. yeah. So like when I first like my very first project, the Concrete Hustle, when he, mm-hmm. you feel me, a lot of those beats came from him. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So yeah, and then um, yeah, man. So shout out LAX, shout out Lil Psycho. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Slapmaster, shout out MG did it, man. Y'all keep pushing. I got Shout some money out. for y'all. <laughs> I got nah. some money for y'all when I hear something again. <laughs> yeah, you know, man, it, that's dope, man. I, I like to ask people shit like that because, you know, um, the process is just important, just as important, I think, as um, the actual music, you know, mm-hmm. like the process, who you who you work with, who you like working with, uh, who what's your perspective on this person, on that person, as far as like their beats or their music or their your working uh-huh. relationship or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um give me uh yeah it's 15 years ago you traveling back in time right now it's 15 years ago you go see yourself what's the you could tell yourself one thing one piece of game you can't tell everything because the world might explode the universe might go crazy but if you what if you could tell yourself 15 years ago one thing something what would it be uh, got him got him <laughs> Man, I don't even know. Uh, it's two of my. Uh, if I could, uh, man. Shit, bro, you just hit me. <laughs> you you know if I could tell, if I could tell myself one thing, bro. Man, that's it. That's it. There you, know you mean? go. Just stay consistent. There you go. That's there you it. have it. All you right, man. Mean? PZ, okay, check it out, man. Everybody already heard about you. They know about you from now. Right there, checking you out. I, I want mm-hmm. you to let uh, let the people know how they can find you, how they can find your music, how they can find uh, just whatever if they want to come check you out. Because that's what it is. That's what it is. After this, we hope and we trying to make it to where they leave after watching this shit and they go click go find you click your links click your googles try to get get at you and because if they like what they like man they're gonna come see you the 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 main mm-hmm. the main thing if if a person wants to stay tuned the, the main thing pretty much the only thing that i really interact on is instagram so it'll be you know ski team s-k-e-e-t-e-a-t-e-a-m underscore pz mm-hmm. just the two letters don't spell it out <laughs> capital yeah, that's P, right capital just p and a z yep and then um that's the main thing for person wanting to stay tuned, but man, shit, I'm everywhere. YouTube, uh, all the digital platforms, Apple Music, Pandora, you know what I mean? Spotify, all my music is on there. I got four projects on there. I got other, I got four projects. I got Concrete Hustle, Uncut, um, weighing out my options. I had another one. I don't know why I can't think of it. Oh, Shit Talking. Okay. I got the Shit Talking, so those are my four projects. I got. I got other singles and stuff that sound. I got features, you know what I mean, that's on a lot of stuff. But, you know, so if you want to see the videos, go to YouTube. I'm, I got countless videos on there. You got you know videos, I mean? and even we even dropped one while you were gone, you know what I mean? It was yeah, actually yeah, perfect yeah, for the yeah, time. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. We had to make sure that we got that out there. I mean, there was no way. I, I would have waited for you, but the, the reality was the times that we're living in. I it, didn't even know when I was going. You feel me? At yeah. that time, like, if you would have been like, hey, bro. If you'd have tapped in with somebody like, hey, so when is I still at the time that you got the I still didn't even know. Yeah. And this you know is I mean? not to me, I, I liked it because for a couple of reasons, the actual content and what we're talking about yeah. in the song was super relevant yeah. for the moment. We're in the middle of a of an election year and it was going mm-hmm. wild and crazy with all the all the all the bullshit. And two, it was a good way to to keep people to keep your name out there and keep people yeah, like, yeah, yo, like, don't forget that. about, don't forget that. about. You know, PZ, he's he not yeah. here right now, but he coming. So I, yeah. I I was really happy with the fact that we were able to pull that off. Um, yeah. Cause I, shout um, out to you. Oh, yeah, because I because it was a few people. They was like, bro, like, I'm, you know, I'm tapping in with a lot of my people. They're like, bro, you got a new video out? And I'm like, I'm like, nah, I ain't got no video out. Like, yeah. you feel me? Then when they was telling me, they're like, yeah, Blaze, my sister, she was like, yeah, yeah. Blaze dropped the video with you. And I just already, already yeah. knew. You know, I already knew what song it was and everything. I'm yeah. like, man, that's what's up, and and I appreciate that because I would, and that's another reason I dropped the uh, that that project when I was when I was you know going through that too because it was just like man, I just want to still give them something. Yeah. You know what I mean, like I like I dropped the video uh, too. The video is called Uncut, which was the intro to the EP Uncut. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I had shot that already before that shit happened. You know what I mean? And then so after a few months, I. 
So the producer, I mean, the, the video, I'm like, bro, just drop it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. drop that. Yeah, and then, then like some months later, drop that project just so, you know, you can stay relevant because that, that's important in this game is to stay relevant. Not to do no weird shit to stay relevant. You feel me? <laughs> Staying relevant in a good way. And, yeah, and it is important. And it's important, like, also, bro, like, you work hard for the momentum that you build. You know what I mean? When you're out here, you're spending money on videos, you're spending money on this music, chasing your dreams, promotion, all the stuff that you do for your for your overall brand. And then when you got stuff that comes up unexpectedly, you know, all that money, if you don't kind of maintain some kind of consistency, that money will be going for nothing. You know what I mean? People will still remember you, but you want to... It's like warming up the stove, man, you know, warming up some soup. You could, you know, if you stay turn off for a little bit and then you stop, it's going to get cold. But yeah. if you turn it on for a little bit and, then, you know, if something happens, you lower the temp. Oh, I got to go to the bathroom and lower the temp so I don't fucking boil over. Yeah. What I got to do, take my little break, yeah. come back, you know, and then you still on it. So I, I was happy because I really wanted to do the song period. I really wish you were there, but I was yeah. really happy with it because I was like, OK, I know the situation. I know the circumstances around the world right now, what's going on. And yeah. that song, that, that song is substance, like a motherfucker, more yeah. substance yeah. than style, yeah. but yeah. it was yeah. definitely needed. You know what I mean? And yeah. it was, and what was crazy, what we were saying, because we recorded it a while back, everything that we were saying was very much relevant at that time. Yeah. You know, Remember so. Remember that, that, that was the last time we did the podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think we just, and then we just did the song on a fluke, I think. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Just yep. like, I got this song, like, man, I hop on it. Yeah. And, and, and it was different, you know? and. Uh, I yeah. didn't even know. I just knew that that was the vibe at the time. I didn't know how serious or how how really, really relevant it would become, but that's what it is. So, man, yeah. shout out to you, bro. Make sure uh, everybody knows already. You guys could definitely holler at, at PZ. You guys know how to find him on Instagram. You can find him on uh, YouTube as well. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do got a YouTube channel. It got it got some videos on there, but mainly I just been dropping through the videographer. Yeah, you know what I mean, what you do? Is go to your, your your YouTube, make a playlist of mm -hmm. all your videos that are on other people's accounts, and just put it oh. on the, as a playlist on your account. So okay. e even though it's on their account, they could when people come search you, your name and your your YouTube pops up, they they could still okay. find your shit hella easy. Okay, right, so man, you guys make sure that you know. You know what I mean, you know what I'm saying. We got that's what we do. This part of the podcast, bro. We share game, bro. We try to give yeah. people uh, uh opportunity to be heard you know what i mean it's the platform for the people that's why it's called no invite because really it's an open invitation at any time that you feel like you want to come holler at us and check in you got something to promote you got uh something to get off your chest you just come holler at me you know what i mean i don't mm -hmm. I, I invite people don't give me I, i'm not gonna say i don't invite people to the podcast but that's because a lot of times when i invite them and they, they're like oh i heard the name i just didn't you know i didn't want to say nothing like <laughs> you know it wasn't happening i'm like no nah, it's not like that like the yeah. name is a play on words. Obviously, it's no invite, but it just means, like I said, it's an open invitation. You don't need an invite. Just touch, just yeah. holler at me and let me know when you want to get down. Yeah. And that's what we do. And it's for the people. So uh, yeah. with, I want to thank you once again, bro. Yeah. You know, I, no, I, you I've been me. fucking with you, bro, for the longest. I yeah. wish you nothing but success, health and happiness. And this is the No Invite Podcast, episode 78, season three, The Level Up. Excuse me, I keep saying the level up. It's the progression. Excuse me, you know what I mean. I name the, <laughs> I name the motherfucking seasons every year, and yeah. for some reason I'm stuck on season two when we're in season three. But uh, you can find us on Instagram at no underscore invite underscore podcast. You could also go to any podcasting platform, Pandora, Apple Podcast, Spotify, and just type in no invite podcast. We will be there. And if we're not there, you could request us, and, we'll, and our, our, we will make sure that we get on there. You could also go, if you really fuck with us, if you want to tap in and you really fuck with us, go to Rebirth Media Films. That's R-I-B-I-R-T-H Media Films with a Z. That's us on the YouTubes. You can find us there. Subscribe to our channel. You could catch all the audio versions of these podcasts as well as this Zoom episode that we're doing right now. The visual, if you want to see what PZ looks like, you know what I mean? You can, you know what I mean? You can find them on the Rebirth Media Films channel. With that being said, man, thank you once again. And Appreciate shout out to you, everybody that been rocking. We're us, you're you, and we gone. <laughs>